Hey you guys, welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. All right, you guys, if you can hear something, it's raining. I actually love the rain and I love dreary weather. Now, <laughs> I think it would be different if it was dreary all the time. I understand how that can get depressing, but I really like the rain and it feels so good right now. It's not super, super humid and I'm actually able to be outside. So I kind of want to catch up on a couple things that I've been meaning to do for a while. I need to check this mystery prop box right here. I have not opened the box since the last time we looked at it, which was a long time ago. I don't even know when. Also, my two plants back here, my giant begonia and my micans. My micans is coming back to life, but they both still have thrips. So I need to go ahead and treat them with something. Just rinsing them down. Oh, I see the hummingbird. Just rinsing them down um, isn't getting rid of the thrip. So I have that. I also got a new plant. I'm going to show you guys inside. We're just going to do a bunch of different things today. Dallas is taking a nap right now. So I'm going to see all what I can get done. <laughs> okay, here's my micans. It looks a lot better and it's growing these long vines. And remember, we cut this thing back. The new leaves do look good, but there is, I don't know, that doesn't actually look good. There's thrip damage in it and it's just... I feel like I don't know what to do with this um <laughs> I'm happy it's coming back to life but there's still thrip so the problem isn't actually solved and it needs to be topped off with soil it's happy right now but what am I supposed to do when it's time to come inside that's what I'm starting to think about do you guys see him crawling yeah it's got thrips all over it so I am going to have to treat all of these with some kind of like beneficial nematodes is what I'm thinking. But in the meantime, I need to do what I can to try to help this plant out because hosing it off is not getting rid of them. Not every leaf looks like that, but there's a lot that have them. So I'm going to see what spray I have out here and I'm going to start spraying these buggers. But dang, that sucks because like it's coming back to life. I don't know. I'm probably going to end up having to propagate all this. I don't know what to do. We'll see. Anyways, it does not say thrips, but this is what I have out here right now. So this is what we're going to use. Some of the leaves look like this. And... I'm just going to check the backs of them. Just, I don't know what it is, if it's spider mites or what. But I'm going to do the same thing. Just really focus on spraying the backs of the leaves. Because that's where they like to hide. Last time I had a hard time showing you guys this. I can't figure out the angle to show you guys the container. Anywho, um, let's open it up and see what we got. <laughs> see what we got inside here got a bunch of water on the lid that's how long it's been okay let me pull it out and show you guys what's in here you guys couldn't see good over there so I've got the prop box right here okay so it's pretty wet in here um I don't know what this is oh I think this is a chia pence that one's still good I can see its roots down in there. It's not wanting to focus. It's only wanting to focus on my face. Then I have a Celta Pecana that has some leaves that are stuck, not coming out. Um, it's pretty dry, but it's got roots. I can see the roots down there. This is a Raphidophora. Everything is so bleached out because I just left this bin sitting out here. It's definitely getting way too much sun i have some skindapsis pictus this yellow leaf is like yuck and like got some kind of weird mold i just got perlite on my face I just puffed perlite on me okay and yeah it's got roots so i guess i need to do something nodes don't know what this is 
I don't even know what to do with this stuff, you guys. I've got some dead things. This looks like it's got a little something, so I don't know. I guess I should leave it, take this big chunk off. There's like a tiny little glimmer of hope in there. <laughs> These two things I'm going to pour out. I'm just going to throw this out. That's what's nice about being outside. I can just toss stuff everywhere. Then I don't know what this is. This kind of, this would be cool if this was a Chia Pence. I think this is a Chia Pence, okay? That's pretty good right there. That's probably the best looking one so far. That one and the other little Chia Pence. Some Celta Bacana, very rooty. Okay, got a lot of roots in here. And some more Chia Pence, per very dry. It's starting to get curly. And I think that's Raphidophora. See, they like look the same when they're just babies. Ew, this container's got, this container needs to be hosed out. I don't know why I still have this. Why do I still have this? The container is really disgusting, has like moldy water down there. So I'm gonna take everything out of here, rinse the container off, put these plants back in here. At least I checked them and some of them are alive. So we're gonna do something with some of these at some point. I was kind of thinking about just putting everything together, making like one mixed pot and just sticking it out here and see if it survives. <laughs> I don't like this rubber hose out here. It's so dang big. It's just so big and everywhere that like, ugh, it knocks all my plants. Look, I can't even get it turned. This nozzle doesn't move. trying to pull this monstrosity and put it back up i knocked over a plant there's dirt all over look uh, can you guys see all right splendid update last time i showed you guys it was opening up this leaf or it had just opened it up it's beautiful and it's pushing out another leaf so thankfully it's happy right here it's doing okay the rest of the plant <laughs> questionable okay questionable but the two new leaves look really good so i don't know that's hopeful if i do i guess when i do decide to chop it also some kind of weed has taken over <laughs> in here but it's a cute weed okay it's a cute weed for right now um and i got a new leaf on this bird of paradise and the newest leaf looks so good something chomped on this other leaf um but this is its newest one since it's been out here that's like really nice and big so that's hopeful because this is kind of a rinky dink looking plant a little bit now it's pretty muggy out okay i'm ready to be done out here the rain has stopped the sun's starting to come out and it is so muggy now that it rained it's not that nice cool feeling we are in my plant room i have plants on the floor that have just been sitting here i do have like a couple things i need to do i pretty much watered everything the other night because it was desperate and it was midnight i was just going around with my watering can and pretty much just left the thing sitting on the floor since then so i did go plant shopping i was going to bring you guys along and do a little shopping video but i didn't realize that i didn't have my memory card in my camera and i went and spent the day with my mom me and dallas did and we went plant shopping my sister came with her little boy so i didn't film it for you guys but i got a new plant look at how cute this is the philodendron fuzzy petiole and it is so happy it honestly looks even better since i brought it home some of these leaves were kind of like turned and it was like really wet so i've let it dry out a little bit so i've just kept it over here on the floor and 
it's just been there underneath the grow light but it's happy but yeah it's the philodendron fuzzy petiole look at these leaves you guys $16.99 which I think that is such a good deal and it's so big normally what I'll do when I bring a new plant home is I'll quarantine it and like spray the leaves down I didn't see anything on this and I just stuck it in here because what kind of pests or things can I get that's worse than thrips so I already have thrips so it's kind of like <laughs> what's the point point? and I don't think this like brought any gnats I'll usually put like a sticky trap I think it's fine okay so it's already been in here we're just we're going with it but isn't it beautiful I really want to find a pot for it so let's hunt down something I have this that's sitting right here under my linearis it has some water in it I was just using it as <laughs> to catch the water but that doesn't quite fit this is cute if all else fails I'll keep it in this but I'm gonna look around and see oh, I wonder I wonder if that one let me see if it'll fit in this one over here. This one, I had a skindapsis in it. Oh, is this perfect? <laughs> it's perfect. Okay, it's perfect. How cute is that? That looks so good. I'm going to put it over here on this side of the room where there's not been any pests spotted. I don't see anything, and I feel like I'm a Thrip Pro spotter, so... Anyways, she's doing really good and it's so cute and I needed something for this table because I've moved so many plants around it was feeling kind of bleak over there. So let's set it up and see where its permanent home is going to be. <laughs> she's big. Here's what it looks like with the lights off and I do have a couple that are getting watered over here on the floor so it'll be a little bit fuller. But I think that looks good. I like the height, okay? I like that it's lifted up. Here's some of the things I have going on on the floor. I was bottom watering in this bucket. Also, something's going on with this. I don't know, but I need to go ahead and probably cut that off. Those look okay. It seems to be like this whole strand, so I don't know what the heck it is. I had it on this top shelf, and I thought it was kind of getting burnt. And then my Scandapsis Jade, this leaf right here is looking a little bit yellow. So I don't know if I just went a little long and didn't give it a drink or if it kind of got burned since we moved this light. And then I was just watering these two. Um, I got to do something with this. I really want to put this Pothos on a board. This big mama is blooming, okay? And her blooms are all opened up. Look at how pretty. I love the Crimson Princess blooms. The little Lego flowers. <laughs> They're so stinking cute. So yeah, this has a big bloom on it and it loves it right here under this light. Also, I want to take this propagation to the sink. It is time to clean this up and refresh its water. So we need to do that. All right, I'm just going to check to make sure I don't see any little thorpies and pull off any of the bad leaves. And the easiest way I've found to fill these with water is just to put it down in the sink and basically just do like this. Did you have a good nap? Did you? Oh, you see mommy's camera? You ready to get up? <gasps> you ready to get up? Mm -hmm. I'm getting you. I'm getting you. Hold on. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. Any type of way you guys interact with my channel, it really helps it so much. And I love seeing your comments. So thank you guys so much for all your support. I'll be back at you guys again soon with another planty video. Bye.
Thank you.